so far we have been using map and map when methods to create a branch of middleware pipeline but there is actually another method which is use when use when is also a method to help us to branch out from an existing pipeline but there is something special about this method so let's grab the diagram over here okay so with map or map when you are going to create a branch and this branch is a complete separate branch but sometimes we want this branch to rejoin back to the next middleware where it's bring it's branched out for example in this case in you might want this to rejoin back to middleware number two like this right so after middleware six it goes to middleware number two and then three and four and then everything returns back to three two and from number two it returns back to middleware number six so something like this so if you want to create a rejoinable branch number five number six then we can use the method use when so let's jump into visual studio and see how that is created so before i do that let me copy this diagram and paste it over to here and let me recover this all right now let's focus on creating a rejoinable branch like this so that after this branch is executed the request is forwarded to the original main branch let's jump into video studio and try to do that so here we have the map when in the previous video to help us to create a completely separate branch so instead of using map when we can use use when so let's go to this and then we say use when all right and then now you can see that we have a very similar signature here or actually the same signature as map when so if i remove this and just change map when to use when it's going to just work but this time after this condition is met so it works the same way as map when in terms of the condition here so if this condition is met which means that this is going to return us true then this branch of middleware pipeline will be executed that means middleware component number five and six will be executed but after that so this next call it's going to trigger middleware number two here which means that it's rejoining just like the diagram here number five and number six so after number six the middleware pipeline rejoins to middleware number two so this is a special type of branch which is what i call a rejoinable branch so use the use when method to create a rejoinable branch so let's run this application and see how it rejoins from number six to number two let's run all right so we have one two three three two one that's because the condition is not met so if you remember the condition is a combination of path as well as the id query string so if i hit enter now you can see we go from one to five so the, we are picking up the separate branch here right and then we're going from five to six now we're rejoining back to the main branch which goes to number two and number three so this is the end of the entire pipeline right now it returns back to number three to number two now to number six number five number one so this is exactly what i showed you the diagram so let's see where the diagram is right here so one five six two three well on the diagram i have four but in the program i don't have four right so it's one five six two three and then two six five one so if we go to this web application here we have one five six two three and then three two six five one so exactly like that so this is what i want to show you if you want to create a rejoinable branch then use the use when method instead of map one method and that's everything i want to show you in this video if you have any questions please let me know 